Hello everyone, my name is Klaus Aranha from the University of Tsukuba. This is Experiment Design in Computer Science, and in this video I'm going to explain to you about report number one. So, uh, report number one. The goal of report number one is for you to write a mini paper about an experiment that you choose, you prepare, you execute, and you analyze. More specifically, you need to do this. Choose a question that you are interested in to investigate using a scientific experiment. Then you design the experiment to answer that question, which means you choose the variables that you're going to control, you define how you're going to collect the data, and you define how you're going to analyze the data. After you design the experiment, you execute the experiment following what you have decided before. And, and this is very important. This is the key of the reports and the exercises in this project. It's not to invent the experiment as you're doing it, but first to design the experiment and then following that design, do the experiment. That is important. Then we analyze the data obtained by following the analysis protocol. And finally, you take note of the results, surprising results or unsurprising results, and then you prepare a conclusion for the experiment. Now, the report that you write must summarize these points, the question, the design, the collection of data, the analysis of data, and the conclusion. So what do we expect from you for report one? In the first report, you should select a simple experiment, for example, using a single dependent variable and a single independent variable, and then calculate simple statistic intervals of the values observed for the dependent variable. These topics, like what is a variable dependent variable, what are statistics intervals, are covered in lectures one and two. This report will be graded by whether it describes a coherent scientific experiment to answer the question the quality of the data analysis and the quality of the presentation and discussion of the results. Okay. One thing that is very important, note that you are not expected to use the new hypothesis model in this report. Uh, a lot of students, they hear experiment, new hypothesis, I will define my hypothesis and I'll have the new hypothesis and then the, the results are significant which is part of the analysis, it's important, but must be done correctly. And we are not going to cover these topics in lecture one or two. If you know how to do a new hypothesis model, then go ahead. But if you don't know, if you just saw it and you're not very sure how to do it, I prefer that you did not do it like anyway. The idea, is to do, the idea of this course is to do things carefully. If you do a new hypothesis model and you do it wrong, that will count negatively in your report, okay? Okay, now the question that a lot of people have is, how do I choose an experiment topic? And I want to talk a little bit about that. So, if possible, I would like you to choose something from your own research. Uh, this will help you motivate about how can you use these techniques in your master degree research. Of course, a lot of people don't know yet what the research will be, are still thinking about it. Um, and of course, you don't need to use this report in your research. So it can be something of like maybe a research from your senpai or something that you saw on the internet. Um, if it can be something in your area, I think that's usually positive. Another thing that usually works very well with reports are things from day-to-day -day life, because I think it's also important that we use the idea of scientific experiment in what we learn on day-to-day -day life. So one thing that is always very fun is to do experiments about cooking. How much water do you need to cook rice properly? Or how do different types of popcorn and different settings of uh, microwaves relate to each other? Or how do many eggs do you need to make a, a good cake or a good pudding? Okay, so cooking is a very easy and very fun way to uh, practice experimental design. That said, when collecting data, be very careful of measuring errors, okay? Because usually it's hard to have very precise uh, measurements for cooking as you have for computer pro computer programs. But it's not impossible. You just need to be careful about it. When in doubt, comparing algorithms is always an easy choice, okay? Uh, just make sure you choose an appropriate metric, an appropriate variable to analyze. 
what usually an easy a common mistake is people comparing algorithms and choosing a variable that is not really relevant to the comparison one thing that is super super important is make sure you choose an experiment that you can perform uh, there was a student a few years ago that proposed an experiment comparing um, how resistant cell phones are to breaking and of course the student will not break their cell phones because they did not want to buy cell phones so choose an experiment that you can perform uh, the goal is not to propose an experiment that will change the world the goal is to show that you can answer a question using an experiment and that implies performing the experiment okay now this article might be insightful so this is a link to an article that inspired me to do this sort of uh, exercises so uh, you can look at it and there are many ex uh, uh, explanations about how people did experiments for an experiment design class okay now, uh, some rules and deadlines for the report. Uh, the report deadline is May 2nd, 11. Uh, you submit it on Manaba. This is in the beginning of uh, the Golden Week. I would prefer if you did not spend your Golden Week on this report, spend your Golden Week resting and have fun, okay? Uh, the report must be in English, okay? And you have to submit two files. The first one is a PDF file with the report itself. Don't forget to write your name and the student ID on the file. The second is a zip file with all the data and scripts necessary to reproduce your research. So I want to encourage you to practice doing reproducible research. So you need to include a zip file with all the data that you obtain in your report and all the scripts. If the data in your report is sensitive for some reason, talk to me, we can discuss some solution about that. Now, one thing that I want to emphasize is that plagiarism will be punished. Um, of course, uh, you, when you do research, you base yourself on the knowledge of other people. When you do that, you have to cite them properly. You have to say, oh, this come from this place. This image came from this source. Um, this equation came from that source. That's OK. What is not OK is just copy and pasting things that you find on the Internet, like copying. There are many reports on the Internet. If you copy that, that will go very bad for you. OK. That's it about the reports. If you have any questions, uh, ask them on Manaba. So other students probably have the same question or come ask them to me in the um, office hours. I hope you have fun. This report can be many, very fun to do your experiments and to learn new things. And I hope you enjoy it. See you then. Oops. Bye-bye.